All right. Uh, in our third act, I think we could use a little religion after that one. It's been kind of rough. We have a guest speaker who's going to come up and talk to you for a second here. So if you come forward, please, sir. <laughs> well, that's a rough act to follow, eh? Okay, how many people in the audience know Ole and Lena? Raise your hand. Okay, how about his buddy Stan? Okay. Okay, well, Ole and Sven was laying on the beach there up in Lake Minnetonka, don't you know? And anyway, you know, Sven says to Ole, he says, Ole, I think so, maybe I go take a walk around and check out the girls there, you know? And Sven says, yeah, okay, Sven, they go ahead there. So he goes out for a while and he comes back and, and there was uh, Sven uh, says, Ole, he says, I don't know what's going on. He says, those girls ain't paying no attention to me. Oli says, I'll tell you what you got to do, Sven. He says, you got to take a big potato and you put it in your swimming suit there, don't you know? And he says, then them girls will be paying attention. You betcha. So anyway, he goes out again looking around, you know, and he comes back, Oli. He says, I don't know, Oli. He says, it just ain't working. <laughs> Oh, he looks at Sven, he says, Oof, the Sven, he says, for the crying out loud, the potato goes in the front. <laughs> we definitely need some religion, so our next act, modernizing religion. You know, since you arrived from the seminary, you have really given St. George a lot of great ideas, and they're really working out quite well. I especially like the fact that you told, let's get rid of all those hard four uh, pews in the front, four or five rows. We got rid of them, put in plush bucket seats, and now every mass, everybody fills those up right away, and it's a great, just going great. Well, thank you, Father Bob. And then your second idea, you felt that the music didn't have enough meat to it, didn't have a beat to it. And you talked me into getting this rock and roll gospel choir. And you know what? That is really working out well. The youth are coming, the young people are coming. In fact, Every mass is full to capacity. They're all the way up to the balcony. Well, thank you again, Father. And you know, I am really pleased that you have been open to the ideas of us youth. Well, you know, all of these, uh, these two ideas were really great. But I think you went a little too far with your drive-through confession confessional. <laughs> but Father, my confessions and our donations have tripled since I put that idea in place. I appreciate that. But the flashing neon light sign that says, Toot and tell or go to hell has got to come off the roof today. <laughs> In our next act, a young newlywed couple wanted to join a church. The pastor told them, we have special requirements for new parishioners. You must abstain from sex for one whole month. The couple agreed, and after two and a half weeks, returned to the church. When the pastor, pastor, when the pastor <laughs> ushers them into his office, the wife is crying and the husband is obviously very depressed. The paint can. Oh, John, Pam, come on in. Good to see you. Um, wasn't expecting you for a week, and it appears there is a problem. Father, we're ashamed to say we did not manage to abstain from sex for the required month. What happened? Well, first it was a little difficult, but through sheer willpower, we managed to abstain. Yes, we did. Yeah, you did good, baby. Thank you. Second week, 
That was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. But through prayer, yes, through lots of oh, we, we managed to tough it out. Yes, we did. The third week. Oh, that was unbearable. Yeah, unbearable. We tried reading from the Bible. We tried the power of prayer. We did. Cold showers. Uh -huh. I was thinking of baseball statistics. Yes. I even thought about my mother-in-law. Hey! <laughs> she told me not to marry you! Hold <laughs> oh, quite up and have one of my eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, one afternoon, she's reaching for a can of paint. Oh, no. It slips and falls to oh, the ground. It did. And she bent over to pick it up. Oh! <laughs> I had my way with her uh, right then and there. Oh no. Twice. Uh, <laughs> you do understand that you are no longer welcome at our church. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, we're no longer allowed at Home Depot anymore either. <laughs> Everyone told Pam not to marry him. <laughs> but, guys, you know, stuff like this happens. Last week I'm in Walmart, and I'm checking out, I'm at the register, and the cashier says, strip down, facing me. Before I knew she was talking about my debit card, it was too late. <laughs> Unlike their story, though, she kind of gave me a wink and said, stop by any time. <laughs> oh yeah, don't tell my wife. Sorry, hon. All right. Anyway, our next one is called Catholic Dog Donation. Come on in, Ron. Sit down, please. What can I do for you today? Well, Father, my dog of 14 years is dead. And I was wondering if you could do a, a mass for the poor creature. Well, you know, we really don't do that for any animals as much as I know it's important to you, but we just don't do it. But you know, there are a couple of churches down our block that probably might do it because they do all kinds of funny things in their churches, so they might allow to do that. Thank you, Father. I'll go right away. Okay. Do uh, you think $5,000 is enough to donate for the service? Sweet Mary, Mother of God, you didn't tell me that the dog was Catholic. Let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello. Is this Father O'Malley? Yes, it is. This is the IRS. I'm wondering if you could help us with something. Well, I'll try if I can. Do you know a Ted Houlihan? Yes, I do. Is he a member of your congregation? Yes, he is. Did he donate $5,000 to your church? $10,000 to your church? Well, he didn't yet, but he will today. $10,000. Thank you. <laughs> Applause here. Last week, I was visiting him at my daughter's house, and I asked her if I could borrow a newspaper. She said, Dad, it's the 21st century. We don't deal with newspapers anymore. Here, use my iPad. That damn fly never knew what hit him. <laughs> Two old ladies were sitting in the city park on a sunny day, both in their 80s and starting to have memory issues. They discussed, as they usually did on Monday afternoons, talking about getting older and life in general. One of them sees a food truck across the park and tells the other one, You know, Donna, I'm hungry for some all the chocolate ice cream. You want some? Well, sure, I love ice cream. But I prefer vanilla strawberry. I really like strawberry vanilla ice cream. Okay, I'll go get us some. Okay, just a minute before you go, Flo. I think maybe we better make, uh, take, take a note along with you so you don't forget anything. Are you We've kidding? been forgetting things these days. No way. I only have to remember two things. Chocolate almond ice cream. Strawberry vanilla ice cream. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. 
the old woman arrives at the food truck that sold the ice cream, there was quite a long line of customers in front of the truck. So around 30 minutes later, the old woman comes back to her friend carrying two hot dogs. Long, long, long wine, Donna! Long wine! Oh my, are you kidding? Where's the mustard? <laughs> So three lady co-workers were chatting about their female boss and complaining. She leaves work early every day, and we're stuck here until till, till 5 o'clock when the whistle goes off. Uh, and so they decided, you know what, when she leaves today, we're going to leave right after her. And uh, one was a brunette, one's a redhead, one's a blonde. Not that that's important. So the boss leaves early, and as soon as she leaves and the door closes, they all get ready, and they go out right behind her. And the brunette... She does some gardening at home, spends time playing with her kids. The redhead, she goes to the gym and works out, getting ready for a big hot date. The blonde goes straight home because she wants to spend time with her husband. But as she walks in the house, she hears a noise. So she kind of creeps through the house and she peeks into the bedroom and she sees her boss is in there with her husband. She quietly closes the door and sneaks back out of the house. So the next day they're getting together, saying what went on. So they're all telling what they did and they said, do you want to, do you want to, no, that's my wife. Do you, want to sneak, do you want to sneak out again today? And the blonde says, I'm not sneaking out again. I almost got caught yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> our, our next act is It Sure Is Dark. Jeff, I have a very special friend coming over today. Very special. So for Mama, would you please hide in the closet? Okay. Thank you. my husband. I need you to hide in the closet. <coughs> Boy, it sure is dark in here. It sure is. <laughs> Say, you want to buy a baseball glove? No, I'm not interested in buying no baseball glove. You know, that's my dad out there. Oh, all right. How much? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, that's outrageous. That's my dad out there. <laughs> oh, all right, here's the doll. We always applaud the sign walker. <laughs> One week later. Jeff, my very special friend is coming over again. Please go play in the closet for me. Okay. my dad out there. Oh, all right. How much? $150. $150? No way am I paying $150 for a baseball. That's my dad out there. Oh, all right. Here's the doll. <laughs> Just in case you can't read it, I want you to feel bad. The next day... We'll play a little catch. Why don't you get your mitt and, and uh, we'll play a little catch. I can't, Dad. I sold my ball and glove. But I did make $350. Sold it? You cheated somebody? That's... You're going to have to go confess. I'm sorry. That's it. I want you to go confess right now. Okay. All right? Mom's a floozy and i got to go to confession. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours later. <laughs> Boy, it sure is dark in here. Don't tell me you're gonna start with that crap again. <laughs> well now 
Uh, will be our intermission, but I'd like to explain a few things. First, we're going to draw the...